Hello, this time I will show you how to make an interesting game that is based on the arcade game called Cyclone, where the player tries to stop a less rolling around, around a circle at a specific spot. The goal, of, the goal of the game is to stop the cycling light when it reaches the indicated, in our case, red LED. If successful, the difficulty level will increase. If unsuccessful, the game will restart from the beginning. The ring consists of 60 LEDs, 4 quarter circle neopixels of 15 LEDs. Uh, the ring holder is made with a 3D printer and you can download the STL file below. In the middle of the ring is a strip of 6, of six RGB LEDs that actually represent the 6 levels. The basic code is taken from OKX Instructable and I made, and I made a free mo few modifications to make the game even more interesting. Uh, first, I reduced the light intensity of the diodes because in my version of the game the LEDs are directly visible. Then instead of 40, the ring contains 60 LEDs because I used it from one of my previous projects, LED Ring Clock. I also added two more levels, added two more levels so that the game now has a total of six levels. Uh, the next very important modification is that I added sounds to the game and now it is much more interesting to play. Finally, I made a big arcade button for much more accurate, accurate playing. The game would need to be powered uh, by a power supply of 5 volts, 3 amperes or more. This is a very simple project and consists only a few components. Arduino Nano microcontroller, WS2812 LED ring with 60 LEDs, WS2812 LED strip with 6 RGB LEDs, one transistor, couple of resistors, buzzer, and do it do it yourself big arcade but arcade button we can also use a rotary encoder button left over from the previous project in this case the device is smaller and compact but playing with this button is more difficult and now let's see how the device works in reality when turning on the game all LEDs light up with different colors. Now by, press, by pressing the button, the game begins. The goal is to press the button at the moment when the rotating diode is located exactly on the static diodes. Now next level. In the first two levels, uh, three, uh, in the first two levels, three diodes are statics, and in the next levels, only one. Now only one diode is static. With each completed level, one diode from the horizontal, for, for a horizontal row lights up. There are six levels in total, so this row contains six diodes. Also, with each next level, the diode speed increases, so it is increasingly difficult to press the button at the required moment. If we fall to pass the level, the game starts from, from the beginning. Uh, also, if you pass all six levels, the game starts from the beginning.
now let's look uh, at how the device is made. 